Time to celebrate all the wonderful fathers out there. Not just for being shining examples of how great a dad can be, but also for being wonderful reflections of who God is. Like God, you've provided for us. You've shown us how much you care from the very beginning. With God, you've guided us helping us navigate through every decision, big or small. You've been present. It sounds so simple, but it's so important. Just knowing you're there when we need you. You've been patient with us, helping us to grow and learn from all the mistakes we make. And like God, you forgive us offering us grace so those mistakes can never define us. And most of all, you've loved us unconditionally as only someone filled with God's love could. So today, we thank you, Dad, for all of this and so much more. Happy Father's Day. Good morning, Revolution Church and those watching online. Happy Father's Day. And if this is not a happy Father's Day for you, we want you to know that our Heavenly Father is there for you. And He wants to comfort you. And He wants to strengthen you. And He is the best Father there ever could be. So, Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 to 17. It says, Shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. Let's do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout in triumph, O Israel. You are our triumph, God. Rejoice and be in high spirits and glory with all your heart. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has cleared away your enemies. The King of Israel, even the Lord himself, is in our midst. Isn't that good? You no longer need to fear disaster. In that day it will be said of Jerusalem, Do not be afraid, O Zion. Do not let your hands fall limp. For the Lord your God is in your midst. He is a mighty warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love, making no mention of your past sins. And he will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. He's rejoicing over us, so let's rejoice over him. Hallelujah. We're going to learn a new song. Jump in as soon as you can.
exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name, Jesus. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name, Jesus. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name, Jesus. Oh, we exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name, Jesus. Hey, we exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name, Jesus.
reach out and receive it for yourself because the power is here yeah the healing is here the king of kings is in this room for you and me Oh, <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. these words when I was standing down there, but some of us need to give our earthly father a big fat break. I heard it just like that. Give our earthly father a big fat break. And some of you need to give yourself a big fat break. I don't know what version that's coming out of. But. but there's there's a whole lot of teachers body of Christ but not many fathers and uh, it's time we start releasing sons and daughters into the world into the into the community um, don't teach them to death praise God more can be done in just a few a few minutes of laughing and shouting and singing and worshiping. It could take years to teach that stuff. We've, many of us have had years of teaching, but now it's time to be released. Amen. It's time to be released. It's time to teach someone else, release someone else into that which you flow in. Praise God.
okay, what, what he just said about releasing that. When I stood back there, I thought, there's some of you in here this morning. Don't, don't raise your hand. But there's some of you in here this morning, and I don't want to sound harsh, but you just don't get it. And that's okay, but you don't get it. You, you don't get what he's saying about the Father, and you don't get the, the laughter. And so what I felt like when he said about releasing it is I thought, it's time because we have been taught to death about it, but we still don't get it. So I felt this morning like it's time for you to get it today. It's time for you to get it because we've taught it so much that it's been really hard. We've turned it into something really hard and it's so easy. That's right. That's it's right. so easy. That's right. And I, I stood back there and worshiped this morning and I was frustrated about some things I said this morning when Scott and I were having a conversation and, and, I, and I thought, oh dear Jesus, there's some things I said this morning I shouldn't have said. And, and, and I felt Jesus take my hand and he said, come on, let's go. And he took me to the Father and I thought, you know, a lot of us have had fathers, not myself, but a lot of people have been raised with fathers that when you were took to your father, you just got took to the woodshed and, and you were getting ready to be punished. But when Jesus took me to the father this morning, he took me to the throne and, 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 and God was on the throne, but he wasn't there to judge me. And, and Jesus took me and he put him, me on his lap and he said, you need to spend a little time with Papa today. It's Father's Day. You need to spend a little time with Papa. And so Papa took me by the hand and we went for a walk. But we didn't go to the woodshed. And this morning I felt like I wanted to share with you just simply, how do you go to Papa? How do you spend some time with Papa? Because some of us don't get it. You've never sat on Papa's lap before. You've never been with Daddy. You've never sat on his lap. You don't know. You don't have that kind of relationship with Daddy, Father. You don't, you don't have that time with Daddy because you haven't had that. And I thought about Gary this morning and his, uh, uh, his love for Oreo cookies. And, and you know, you know I, I can just see Gary. Now, if you need to shut your eyes to picture this, that's fine. But Gary won't need to. But I could just see Gary cracking open one of those Oreos. Do you, yes. do you break them apart or do you leave them whole? Sometimes. I'm just led by the Spirit. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so I want you to go with me right now for just a second. I want you to go with me. In your mind, if you don't like Oreos, oh, dear Jesus, he can lay hands on you later. But, but may, maybe you like those, uh, what's that steakhouse in town, that one over there by the mall that's always, you can't ever get into it. Okay, they got those yeast rolls. Oh, yeah, you can smell them when you walk in the door. And they got cinnamon butter. Okay, so, so, so. So right now, there's not one of you in this room that can tell me I don't know how to see in the spirit. Because every one of you right now has either pictured Duncan and Oreo or you've smelled. Every one of you, not just Tom Peterson, but every person in here just smelled that yeast roll. You just smelled it. Right. He just smelled it. He's over here. I have just added about 500 calories in the last two seconds. You know, because you just think about it and... You know, so, so every one of you can see, hear, smell, taste, feel in the spirit right now. Every one of you. So every one of you can shut your eyes this morning. And just like that, you can be sitting on Papa's lap. Just like that. You're sitting on Papa's lap. And just like that this morning. He's loving on you, and he's holding you, and he's embracing you. And it's not going to look like it does with your heaven, with your earthly father. 
because he's your heavenly father and you can feel him and you can smell him you can even taste and have that sense of taste and that touch and this morning you can also experience that joy that joy that joy in the father's presence that bubbles up out of the inside of you because that joy and that laughter that came this morning the scripture says i've got a river of life on the inside of me there's a river flowing on the inside of you and right now that river can come out of the inside of you and you can know not just by looking around wondering what's going on with the people in this service but you can know experientially on the inside of you what the joy of the Lord is. Because yes. some of you in here this morning need some strength because this is not a day of celebration for you. Father's Day is not a real great day, but today can be a great day because the joy of the Lord is your strength and he's got a river flowing on the inside of you. And I want you to experience that right now. And I want you to, I want you to stand up this morning. I want you to participate if you can. If you can't stand up, just sit there. But if you can stand up, I want you to stand up. And I want you to experience the joy of the Lord on the inside. Amen. I want you to experience that on the inside. That father, daddy, He's pouring out. He's pouring out. He's got a well on the inside of you. He's got a well on the inside of you. And I want you to sense that well. Because we know now, because of the yeast rolls and the Oreos, that you can see in the spirit. That you can smell in the spirit. That you can taste of that fresh water. But that water is not on the outside, it's on the inside. And I want you to reach in there right now in that in your spirit. I when I want you to pull pull that water out of you. That that stream of living water. I want you to pull that out of the inside of you this morning. And I want you to taste and see that Father God is good. Taste and see that Father God is good and pull that water out on the inside of you. Pull that out. Pull that out and know what the joy of the Lord is. That the joy of the Lord is your strength. That the joy of the Lord is your strength. Sit in Daddy's lap. Sit in Daddy's lap and drink of the Spirit this morning. Drink of Him. Drink of Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you that you are the river of life. Thank you that you restore our joy. Thank you, Father God, that this morning, whether no matter what our earthly father has been like, Father God, that you restore. You restore our joy, our peace. You restore that to us. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus, Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So I'm going to take just the next few minutes while you're standing. Just group up with two or three people around you, three or four, just right there in your row or the row in front of you or the row behind you, just group up with two or three, four people and release that joy. Ask them if there's something you can pray with them about.
Ask them if they need healing. Ask them if there's something specific you need prayer for. If there's not, release that joy, release that strength, release that power into their lives. Just take a few minutes. Ask them, is everything okay between you and God? Release the power of God to go into your soul, into your body, into your spirit. Charge. Give power to. We release joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Release the joy of the Lord as your strength. Glory to God. We release the power of God. We release the joy of God. We release the strength of God. The resources of God.
Praise God. Praise God. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Blessed be God forever. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be God forever. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy. Glory to God. Glory to God. so good. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God forever. Praise God. Praise God. Can you guys hang? <laughs> Can you guys hang out up here? Can you guys just hang out up here for a minute? Can you guys just hang out up here for a minute? Praise God. Praise God, yeah. Come on, let's just stand up in the praises of God. Let's just worship Him. Let's just worship Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. the name of the Lord Jesus. In Habakkuk, it says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on your vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food though the flock may be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls so sounds like a pretty bad time right yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will joy in the God of my salvation the Lord God is my strength. Amen. He will make my feet like the deer's feet, and he will make me walk on high heels. Not high heels, high hills. Hills. <laughs> He'll give you feet like the deers and cause you. Have you ever seen those goats that just climb those the side of a steep wall and they just find some place to put their foot? That's the way he's making you. There may be no herd in the stalls. There may be no fruit on your vine. There may be no answer to your prayer. There may be no uh, fruit from your labors. There may be nothing going on seemingly. Yet I will joy in the God of my salvation. You have been saved. You have been delivered. You have been filled with the Spirit. 
and there's strength that comes with that. And he's, it, it doesn't matter what's presented before you. We are not ignorant of the devil's devices. That mountain was not put there by God. Because he says he gives you feet to climb right over that mountain, right on top of that mountain where it looks like there is no way, there is a way. Where it looks like you've just labored and labored and pushed and pressed and, and gone after. And there's still nothing in your hand. I'm going to read something else real quick. I'm going to have them just finish it out. Praise the name of the Lord. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, the church is Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue was singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his harvest, his sheaves, with him. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. What you've sown in tears, you shall surely, you shall surely come with your arms full of harvest, arms, arms full of answered prayer, trophies, reward. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Sing that. Let heaven come. Just sing it. Sing it out of your heart. Let heaven come. Sing it with them. Come on. Let heaven come into your situation. Let it. Allow it. You let it. You allow it. We're not waiting on God. He's waiting on you. Let it come. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Let heaven come. Heaven come. Let 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 heaven come. place where you work. Let heaven come into this church. Let heaven come into this region. Let heaven come to every campus. 
every school. We bind in this place every religious spirit, every political spirit. We bind you. We break your power. Heaven come and just rearrange stuff in your life. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to do it that way. You don't have to do it the way you've done it. Just let him come in and rearrange stuff. Come in and rearrange your thinking, rearrange your actions, rearrange some of your stuff. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. If you're here this morning, You've never made Jesus the Lord of your life. If you haven't already done it this morning, just right there at your seat, say, Jesus, come into my heart. I receive the forgiveness of sin. Holy Spirit, come live big on the inside of me. Baptize me with the Holy Ghost and fire. If you're here this morning and maybe you've just grown cold or dull or apathetic or it just, just seems to wash over you, just say, Father God, I'm coming back. Coming back. My soul follows hard after thee once again, coming back to my first love, to my first love. Light the fire that once burned so bright and clear, relight that thing. In Jesus' name, praise God, praise God. God. God's moving. God's moving big time. He just came in and swept through the room. Swept through the room. Swept through your heart. Swept through your soul. Did you receive it? Did you receive it? Praise God. Praise God. So before we dismiss, I'm going to receive the offering. If you'd like to give digitally, online, just continue to do that. You can do that anytime. If you want to give in person, there's a bucket out there. You can put a check or cash in, in the uh, envelope. Sign up for a men's group next Saturday. If you would like to donate to Revolution Church, you can go online to revolutioncolumbia.com slash giving. Or if you prefer to mail in your donation, you can send it to Revolution Church, 203 East Leslie Lane, Columbia, Missouri, 6599. Let's give the Lord one more shout. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. And you guys are dismissed. Thank you.